Dear viewers, I hope you are doing okay. I am fine too. Today I will be presenting you a fountain pen drawing. Enjoy the video. Sincerely yours, Detroit. Well, hello there, everybody. It's me, Detroit. As I've told you in the introduction to this video, today I am drawing with a fountain pen on a Bristol paper. As you may realize, I started this drawing with my previous setup for filming, which was a digital camera on a tripod carefully balanced on top of my computer screen. But I got tired of it, and right as I was drawing, my doorbell rang. Can you guess who it was? It was Amazon, delivering me a tripod. So now I have a tripod on which I put my phone, which has a better quality than my digital camera. So as you will see, the point of view will soon change to a much better one, which was right above the drawing, which also makes it way easier for me to edit the video afterwards. So let's get to the drawing. As I've said, it's a fountain pen drawing, which is a medium that I really enjoy a lot. As for the subject of this drawing, I wanted to draw a underwater landscape. So that's what I did. It's really nice to do because underwater you can draw basically anything, any weird shape, and it's already some kind of water plant. And I realized recently I've been making a lot of water heavy videos, like a lot of my videos feature water in some form or another. Like I did Water Drop City a couple months back. Uh, last week's video was also a woman in water. And today, yeah, it's an underwater theme. I don't know. There's something about that that I really like. It's especially nice for me to do water themed video because of the coloring, even though this drawing won't be colored at all. But I really like coloring water because there's such a wide range of colors you can use, like from a soft green to a dark blue. And you can also put uh, hints of purples and you can do highlights in yellow if the sun shines. It's really a good palette, you know, and I really like the color blue, so I think that's why. But yeah, today's theme is underwater. As you will realize as soon as I finish the first part of the sketch, that I messed up the composition a little bit. Like if you see, like the arch part is fine on the left of the drawing, but on the right, it's too empty, you know? Like, if you compare the left side and, and the right side, it's like night and day. So yeah, I'm not really fond of the composition. I wanted to do that on purpose at first, because I, I wanted the left to be heavy with different shapes and everything, and the right to have less of them, but to be darker in contrast. Because the way I imagine my light source it would be like on the left, almost horizontal to the scene. And so the things in the right of the scene would be much darker, much more in shadows. But actually, as I drew it and as I started shading it in, it didn't quite work out that way. So yeah, I guess it's just a faulty composition, but it still was a lot of fun. and. I also did some cross hatching, which I hadn't done in quite a while. Even though it is kind of close to what I did for the ghost drawing two weeks ago. I don't know, sometimes you, you don't think a lot about the drawing you're doing. Sometimes it just flows, you know? And I had a lot of fun. I also researched quite a bit uh, what an underwater landscape would look like, like what sort of plants to expect. And yeah, here are uh, just a few I found. I really like the like the columns, like the chimneys kind of things, like which are rocks formations, I think. I don't really know about the marine biology side of stuff. What else is there to say about this drawing? If you don't take into account the part of the composition that I talked about, I really like this drawing. I think it's clear, it's expressive, like you, you don't doubt at any moment that it is a scene from underwater, except there aren't any fish. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. 
Today, I really don't have any commentary planned. I don't know what to say. Sometimes it's hard to write something. Also, today, I am not writing the speech that I'm giving to you right now. I'm just doing this out of the top of my head, which is a really difficult exercise, especially since I'm only looking at a monitor with like the audio curves showing up, but that's all. And well, I'm also looking at my drawing because this is what inspires this whole commentary. But yeah, I'm just I'm just rambling on my own and it's quite hard to find the inspiration of what to say. What else is new in my life? Oh yeah, I've technically started a new job. Well, I'm still working my day job, which is uh, being a PhD student in a physics laboratory. But I started a new gig, which is working as a translator for a friend of a friend. This guy, who is technically my new client, uh, was looking for a French translator to translate a piano abstract from French into English about the works of Federico Mompou, a Spanish composer. And yeah, I decided, why not? I can do that as a translator. I mean, I've been writing for a long time in French and it, it's my first language, but I've also been writing a lot in English. Like I'm pretty fluent in English, so I didn't think it would be any problem for me. And it isn't. Like I'm pretty good at translating, I think. Well, I haven't found a great workflow because this is the first time I'm doing any sort of translation like that. But yeah, it's really fun and I'm gonna get paid for it, which is also good. Even though I, d I don't really need the money at this point in my life. But I don't know, for future projects, it might be interesting. So yeah, I just do that on the side whenever I have a little bit of time. What else is new about my life? I was talking about writing. Well, for my novel, which is Universal Knowledge of the Tao, and that you can find on webnovel.com under the pen name Detroit, these days I'm writing a big action scene between at least three parties which are all fighting each other and it's really nice. I used to be afraid of writing action scenes because I couldn't really get the balance right between like the part of the action but also like the descriptive part which is a bit slower if that makes sense. But I'm really excited because now I seem to have found a flow for this particular scene and I'm really enjoying it a lot. And I guess the chapter would get out uh, during the same week that this video comes out. So if you want to check it out, please go ahead. You'll just have to read the 80 plus chapters that come before if you want to understand anything. But please do. <laughs> That's always appreciated. So yeah, I've talked about translating. I've talked about writing. I want to go back to talking about drawing for a bit, if you don't mind. I think I'm gonna put off drawing completely abstract for a while. I don't really know why, but these days I don't feel like doing abstract stuff. I mean, look at my pen and ink drawings. Like the one two weeks ago and this one are both representing something. They are actually a scene, they are not completely abstract. I mean, for sure, in this one I used some abstract patterns, but it's just for the sake of rendering an underwater landscape. I don't know. I don't feel myself being really creative in abstract these days. I might go back to it at any point, though, so keep looking out for this, but for now, I'm not gonna draw in an abstract style. And that's all the time I had today. God, it's really hard to talk into a microphone when I don't have a speech ready. It's going to be hard to edit the video and the audio commentary as well. I hope I don't make it too short because now that I look at my screen, I've been talking for like 20 minutes, but I've messed up so many times that I'm going to cut all that out. Oh, well, it might be a short video. So as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want drawing videos. You can also check the different links in the description for my different social media accounts. And yeah, if you like the video, please leave me a comment. I always appreciate reading the few comments I have. Go ahead and talk to me. All right, I wish you a good week. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.